All right, friends, so we've been working on our soccer skills at home. And Coach P, she even played a little bit of soccer back in the day. So she's going to show us some tips and tricks to be able to control the ball or doing something called dribbling. Now, last week we were working on dribbling in the classroom or in the gym with our basketballs. But do I dribble with my hands in soccer? No. We've got to practice dribbling with our feet. So Coach P is going to show us some skills to where we can use our feet to control our soccer balls and keep it close to our bodies. So, let's see what are some cool skills that Coach P can show us. All right, so everything that we're gonna do, we're gonna do it for 30 seconds, except for like the last four things that we're gonna do. So, we're gonna start off with just toe taps. We've done, a couple, we've done that um, in a couple of our classes, so we're just gonna take our toes and we're gonna tap it for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. See how fast you can go and see if you can keep it in place.
some more rolling. I'm gonna roll the ball back. And I'm gonna hit it with my right foot and bring it to my left. So I'm gonna roll it back and tap it to bring it to my other one. Roll it back, tap it, roll it back, tap it. So we can switch foots, because remember, we gotta be able to use both feet in the game. All right, three, two, one, go.
extension in and out and out. We're going to start moving. You can see these toes that are on the either side of Coach Dalton. We're going to do what's called a figure eight dribble. And we're going to start with just our right foot. So I'm going to start on one end and I'm just going to dribble around. I'm going to cut through the middle. Cut through the middle again. And I'm going to do that. We're going to see if you can do it for 30 seconds. It's okay if you lose the ball. Losing the ball is actually good because that means you're getting better. All right. Remember, just our right foot this time. We'll use our left foot next time. And also, if you notice, when I was dribbling, I was using both the inside of my foot and the outside of my foot. I wasn't using my toe. Using the inside and outside helps me control the ball better. And I was keeping it super close because if it was far away from me, I wouldn't be able to do the figure eight. So, right foot for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Two, one, 
Y'all can definitely do it. <laughs> nice. So boys and girls, you saw that this area that we were using, it wasn't a lot of space. So this is one you can do outside. This is one you can even do in your living room. As long as you ask mom and dad first. So don't go around kicking the soccer ball saying Coach Dalton and Coach P said it. Make sure you ask mom and dad first. But you only use what? One, two, three big steps worth of space. So this is something we can do in the living room. We can do in our bedrooms. We can even do in the bathroom if we wanted to, I guess. But don't do it in the bathroom. Now, great job today, guys. See if you guys can practice some of these skills and then when you guys come to school, see if you can show them off to me for a little bit. And if you're at home remote learning, see if you can take a little video clip and see if you can send it in to us. And let's see if we can put you on YouTube with us. All right. Thanks for joining us for another day of PE at home. Bye, everybody. Bye.